Hi everyone, today I have yet another full custom Todd Bag Bodega. Um, this one comes from the latest TKI show um, in 2023 and I just wanted to show it off to you guys but I won't go into too much details because in a previous video I did a lot of um, background on Todd Bag and you know where like his history um, and all the special things about what he did for the knife industry so this one will just be a much faster look on the on the newest acquisition because I figured there aren't that many full custom bodegas out there and um, I'll just show you around this one sports a damasteel blade that has been polished but not to the mirror polished or micron polished like he did on the other piece but it's still you know a step before he does the micron finishing it's still like what maker other makers would call full mirror polished blades because it is really high polish but compared to the micron finish it's a little bit you know it's not there yet so it's not as shiny um, but it's still very very high polished you know it's got his usual his usual grind and um, yeah I think this one was very similar to the the old piece that I or the previous piece that I had um, the Mokume piece in terms of like the consistency of the grind the sharpness of the blade etc so that's very very nice now let's check out the inlay that's the ice jeweled island here um, the polished pivot and carbon fiber frame it I'm not entirely sure what type of carbon fiber this is it looks like snakeskin carbon fiber but this is actually copper infused um, in the beginning, I, I didn't know it was copper infused. I just thought there were it's just some accents, but you can actually smell the copper in here. But it's still much more, you know, carry friendly than the other piece. Um, that Mokume piece was like full mirror polished on the whole knife, you know, the blade and the frame. But this one is not only much lighter because, you know, copper or Mokume is very dense and then this is carbon fiber so it's much lighter much nicer in the hand I think um, because the other one when it's all polished it feels sometimes a little bit icky this one not not so much but it's still got the mirror frame which is you know very very beautiful to look at it does a really amazing job with the polished frame and um, the inlays are very, very nicely done. Again, the fitment of the inlay is is very good. Very nicely done. Uh, along with the contouring on the sides. So it feels very nice in the hand. Also, you know, I love the little bull, blue um, anodized screws nice jewel backspace there a nice jewel um, frame lock side one of the things that caught me off guard a little bit because when I you know I saw this available I, I thought oh man I gotta have the another bodega and I didn't realize that it has this new clip which to me it's actually you know it looks a little bit odd and then I was like oh no um, I wish it had the old clip because that one looks a lot nicer now that I have it in hand though um, it blends in quite well with you know the blue anodized lock um, and it also functions a little bit better because the other one because it is so so thin it actually like not because of the tolerance but because of the thinness of the material it can move a little bit 
you know, if you like push it side to side, this one is much more stiff. And I think it functions a little bit better as well. So, you know, for a piece like this, I think I, I do like having this clip. Next, um, the action. Okay, the action on the previous one, because it was built, you know, when I when I asked, asked Todd to build it, I told him I, I preferred a hard detent. This one has a medium detent and boy i think this is now <laughs> my my favorite type of detent um because it flips out really hard still but without as much effort you know it locks up really nicely and then it's it's a lot smoother when you close as well you know it's very buttery smooth this one feels smoother than my other piece um and to me this action is so addictive it really is it's awesome I think it has to be in my top five um, favorite actions that I've had in the past I think you know, just to name some of the pieces but I haven't necessarily made videos on them my favorite um, action I think ever was on a kickstop Hokkaido bolster lock um, carbon fiber bolster lock that one was crazy absolutely crazy and then i really like the tim galleon the jyd generation 3 it's like a huge knife now it's with a youtuber called you know, dirk Werning, and you can just if you go to his channel you'll see how much he likes the action and especially the first time he unboxed it he was like holy crap you know that's that's crazy so, you know, this is along the lines of, for me, in the, not as, maybe those ones are, I put a little bit higher because of how unique it felt. Um, but this is up, up, up there. You know, it's just as smooth as those ones. You know, no hiccup anywhere. And it flips out with authority. Yeah, super addictive to play with. And um, yeah, some of my previous, but like, I had one really old bodega with not a not even a ceramic, you know, I guess bearings, and that one the action was much worse. I think this is like one of the most well tuned um, Todd Beck customs that I came to or ran into, just because it's it's so well balanced. Um, between the smoothness, the action, and you know, absolutely perfect centering, no movement anywhere. It's just, it's rock solid, reliable, and it's also very, very sharp. Um, which is, you know, hasn't always been the case in the past. So yeah, just wanted to, you know, share with you the, the newest acquisition. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.